Halloween special, and if you've just realized that you have company coming over tonight, but you have nothing prepared, Randy has an antipasto uh, that will have all eyes on you. Well, how do we take something right? that's simple and take it to spooky? Yes. So basically things that you have in your fridge. You know, we always have a little bit of charcuterie lying around. We have some common cheeses yeah. like bocaccini, goat cheese, and some cheddar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we're going to take it from the ordinary, and we're just going to bring it up and give it a pow. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing is eyeballs. Whenever you look at food and, and Halloween, it's always eyeballs. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to reveal them here, but we got little bocaccini Ew, eyeballs, right? It's a little gross. Oh. And so, so easy to make. So easy to make. Basically, you take your fresh mozzarella, mm -hmm. right? You cut it in half. And then what you're gonna do is just kind of like give it another little thing, just kind of like make it even. Yeah. And then you're gonna hollow out an eye socket. <laughs> now the best part about this. You could have gone to med school, Randy. Yeah. No, this is totally laser eye so surgery. Good. Sign up. No yeah. problem at all, right? Precision, right there. And then you take an olive root with pimento and you slide it in like How that, easy right? How is that? That's pretty easy. And then there's these nice little bits here that you can kind of snack eat. on too, yes. right? Yes. Because you know. Stay away from the Hershey's. And then all you're gonna do really is you're gonna take some copa and you're kinda line it around and then you disguise it with a little bit more prosciutto. Mm. And all of a sudden you've got a nice little treat in there and that's what everyone's gonna go after and it kinda works with the prosciutto. The more the better, there they go, right? Right, make those googly eyeballs. Yeah, and so then we get the plain goat cheese which everyone has kicking around. You're just gonna like get rid of that because that's kinda plain Jane simple, okay. right? We're just gonna mix it up a little bit, get some air into it. And then Tracy, how are your piping skills? They're all right. Yeah, yeah, I can, okay, I good. can fake it. Can you? I think so. So what we're going for here, just pretend it's like it's mashed potatoes and you're making a shepherd's pie, I guess. All right. But what we're after is a little bit of a peak. So what I want to make is like tiny okay. little ghosts. All right. All right, you want me to show you one Give me first? an example. I got one here, so you get your own bag. Okay. You ready for this? So just take your goat cheese, right? Yeah. And you kind of give it a squirm. And Ooh. then a little. My birds are getting in the way. Like that, right? Nice so bird. a little bit of... Oh, you got it. You got to keep going. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. But it'll still work. You try this one. Try this one. <laughs> oh, you blew a tire. What's going on over here? Oh, my It stomach. went really well. Went, look at this. Oh, yeah. That's all. He's got a big neck. He's got a big neck, right? Yeah. Keep going. Let's see another one. Yeah. No, that's we'll good. Take it, Give me right? one more. Give me one more. I feel, okay. the, I feel the love in this one. <laughs> She's got strong hands. What's going on? Oh, okay. That was had the Halloween candy before. That's good. He's looking good. That's all right. The kids are like doing this too, right? It's be kind of fun. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna take an olive, another olive, because you know everything has to be edible. Yeah. And then we're gonna take the other side, like a smaller piping bag fitting, and you're just gonna punch out little eyeballs. Okay? Oh, so good. Right? And then kind of click them in here. And then what you're gonna do is I like this little guy right here, so you go a little beep. Olives are the Eek. ultimate eyeball maker. Right. <laughs> you can have a little, <laughs> little ghost. Steak, right? That's so good. It's not exactly spooky. It's kind of like cute. No, this guy's got a little bit of lean on right here. He's got a big hat. He's got a big hat. So he's got to start. Right? That's kind of cute. <laughs> Okay. do with these? I mean, this is, this is cheddar. Everyone yeah. loves the cheddar. It's kind of tasty, but we need to we need to make some tombstones or something. Like okay. you gotta like kind of glow it up. So right. I got some whole wheat um, tortilla shells here, and basically you just cut them out like this, like that. You can kind of round them off. Make right? a little bit of art. Make a little bit of art, and if you really wanted to, you know, just round it off the top. And you have something like this. Now okay. they're pretty good. You know, they're yeah. looking all right, but. What you need to do is give them a little bit of jam. So we got some soya here, some Ooh. spice mix, and some olive oil. And what you want to do is you want to roast them off against the sheet pan. Oh, so they come out like this. So they give them a little bit of a fold. And the reason for that is when we can kind of go and we can kind of like just sneak it in here and it'll stand up because it oh has my God. something. Oh, Jesus. Right. Stay. Here we go. And then, oh, give me one more. That's give good. me one more. Here we go, like this. Very good. Just get a little guy Very behind. Good. And then just hit it with some chives. Can we just give it up sudden, for Randy Feltis right now? Oh, it's like a graveyard. Oh, 